here today looking at a huge eruption in the Kuril Islands in the northwest Pacific. The Kuril Islands form a 1,300 kilometer volcanic archipelago between Hokkaido, Japan and the Russian Kamchatka Peninsula. There have been some huge volcanic eruptions along the chain such as this one at Sarichev uh, stunningly captured on 12th of June 2009 from the International Space Station and it forms a pyropileus cloud that you can see on the top of the plume. The native people of the area are the Ainu and the name Raikoke derives from the Ainu language and it means hell mouth which is an uh, appropriate name as we'll see. It's an uninhabited island for good reason as you'd expect. It's a kind of suicidal place to live at the moment consequent town destroying pyroclastic flows, lava flows, landslides, almost anywhere on the island. However, to be fair, it erupts far less frequently than some of the other volcanoes in the region. Having said that, apparently 15 people were killed in an eruption in 1778 by falling rock bombs. Raikoke is a roundish stratovolcano. Stratovolcanoes are steeper volcanoes than shield volcanoes. Uh, but stratovolcanoes have a greater tendency to produce these large explosive eruptions. This volcano is not actually that high, it's only about 551 meters high. Uh, prior to 2019, the last big eruption was back in 1924. However, Raikoke's relative peace all changed in the early hours of the morning on the 27th of June this year. It let loose a huge new eruption and the plume shot up through the atmosphere reaching heights of up to 17 kilometers, 43,000 feet. This was high enough for some ash and sulfur dioxide to enter the stratosphere. And it was caught at sunrise by the satellite Himawari 8. It was also seen by GO-17. From that angle, it was right on the edge of the limb, so we get to have a look at the verticality of the plume. This type of eruption is called a Plinian eruption, and the eruption occurred in a series of bursts before letting loose a huge, sort of persistent plume uh, after the bursts. The plume was flung through the troposphere and spread out with the different winds at different levels, but most of it headed off to the east in strong to mid or upper level westerly winds and it wrapped and round into this large storm system in the northern Pacific. Sentinel-2 caught this nice image of the volcano still erupting the day after the main eruption but this was on the 20, 23rd of June and if you look really carefully you can actually see the island peeking out through the clouds. After the plume cleared and the eruption stopped, Sentinel-2 caught more views of the volcano and we can look at the before and after and you can see the areas of the island where it expanded due to pyroclastic or lava flows or landslides or maybe a mixture of all of them. I don't know, but if you look at all sides of the island, you can see that it expanded in many, many areas. No doubt in the crater as well, there was a lot of uh, changes there and possibly even to the well, likely, actually, to the to the height of the actual mountain itself. So that's all I got on this side. Just wanted to try a brief video looking at this eruption. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe. And I'm also on Twitter and Facebook at ustorm.org. So, uh, yeah, uh, please leave a comment. Later. <laughs>